Hello, Azure Lane community. It is I, once again, the Bruce Wayne of Azure Lane, old games investigator. And I got a question on my Twitch about why I use Biloxi in this slot instead of Montpelier. So I thought I would just analyze all the Clevelands because I'm mainly using a Cleveland class here to buff independence because independence has that nice like uh, buff she gets from the Cleveland class but in all honesty I happen to be a history major and I love World War II uh, and my favorite class of ships in the whole war were the Clevelands so I may be biased just a little bit but um yeah independence gets this nice buff where if you use a Cleveland class with her she gets to increase that Cleveland class's firepower by 8% and increases this ship's AVI and accuracy by 15%, which is no small buff, especially with all the EVA equipment out right now. You need that accuracy. And it also improves the TBF Avenger airstrike she launches with uh, every airstrike. But uh, the improvement gives her three more Avenger bombers, like torpedo bombers. So that is that is no small buff. It's very decent. So, if we go over here, we'll see all the Clevelands in my favorites. So, I'll just go through each of them and tell you why I do or do not use them. So, Denver is by far the weakest, the weakest Cleveland, and she has the most unimpressive skills. Like, she just has regular anti-air mode and full firepower. And stat-wise, she is also very unimpressive. Like, I mean, Cleveland classes ships in general are good, but they're not really spectacular over any of the other sh uh, light cruisers you have individually in this game. But, um, yeah, Cleveland herself has decent uh, stats among the Clevelands, but, and she has the anti-air mode, but the, the thing is her main skill, the assault order skill, it only has a 25% chance of activation, and that is so low it's really unreliable you might as well act like that's never gonna happen yeah it, the skill itself is good though because it boosts the, like it boosts the damage of your entire fleet it's just it's only 25 percent chance of activation i'm like mm -mm. oh god coffee a uh, sweet gift from the gods yes uh, oh dang i'm breaking a rule of mine never drink coffee in a white t-shirt any white shirt really you get a stain on that shirt it's never coming out okay and then Birmingham is in my opinion the third best Cleveland and the reason for that is because of her skills so when this ship takes damage 10% chance to increase this ship's EVA by 40% for five seconds has eight second cooldown between activations once per battle when this ship's HP has fallen below 30%. This ship evades all enemy attacks for five seconds. Now, that does make her tanky. She has, that's a solid, very good uh, tanky type skill. It boosts her survivability. And while this ship is afloat, Tenacious Knight of the Sea is a good skill too. While this ship is afloat, decreases the burn duration by three seconds for this ship and your flagship. When an enemy aircraft is shot down within your fleet's anti-air gun range, increases that ship's firepower and AA by 15% for 8 seconds. Now, that's nice, except um, if you have a heavy armor ship as your flagship, the real concern would probably be the enemy lobbing AP rounds at your ship, unless the burn is spectacular. Um... And I use New Jersey, and I gotta say, I'm not really concerned about any HE rounds coming her way, but I am damn sure concerned about AP. And then Columbia, who is, in my opinion, I'm going in order of best Cleveland, by the way. In my opinion, Columbia is better than the three previous ones I just showed you. And she it's because she has the flagship cover skill. Now, while the ship is afloat, decreases the damage her flagship takes by 25%. And then she has anti-air mode. But um, this skill could be used in a pinch. 
If your if your you know main fleet is under duress, this ship was pro is invaluable because she is currently the toughest ship with the flagship skill. Like she is the most survivable individually and toughest individually that has the flagship skill. So she'll stay alive and keep that flagship, you know, keep that flagship protected for as long as she's alive. And then this is my favorite ship in the game, Biloxi. And it's not just because I like the art, although I will admit I do like the art, but it's also because um, in my opinion, she has the best individual combat record of all the Clevelands, like by herself. Oh, wait, um, air surface switch. While this ship is equipped, is equipping the twin 127 millimeter Mark 12 dual gun increases this ship's AA by 15%, but decreases its firepower by 5%. While not equipping this gun, increases this ship's firepower by 15%, but decreases its AA by 5%. Now, that's a 15% increase in firepower if you're not using that gun. And this is, the Tashkent gun really is the best gun to put on gun-focused light cruisers. So, she gets this nice firepower buff, and she's eliminating light armor like it's, you know, paper. And then this skill is also very important. Once per battle, when the HP of any ship in your fleet falls below 50%, for 12 seconds, increases this ship's AA by 15%, and decreases the damage that ship uh, whose HP fell below the threshold by 15%. Now, this is important about Biloxi. Her skills activate 100% of the time. She's the most reliable out of all the Clevelands. 100% activation rate. So, and the 15% firepower buff goes throughout the whole fight. That is important. But also, okay, of all the Clevelands, when I'm using Stefan Potter in my main fleet, the name of the game for the Vanguard is Keep Stefan Potter Alive. So if they get throttled with torpedoes, Biloxi's skill is the only skill that will leap over and help Stefan Potter if her HP goes below the threshold before the others do. And she can also do that for the flagship if that happens, but Stefan Potter needs to be alive for that fleet to really do its damage. And now, Montpellier, who is undoubtedly and individually the best Cleveland on her own. But I will show you why. Legend of the Solomon skill, 60% chance, which is unreliable. 60% chance to increase your cruiser's firepower accuracy by 25%, decrease the damage they take by 15%. Unreliable. Anti-air mode Montpellier, which she gets from her augment, which to me, this augment changed the game. Like Mont Montpellier was kind of neck and neck with Biloxi in terms of who was the best Cleveland. But uh, this augment gave Montpellier a strong leap ahead. So decreases the damage this ship takes by 15%. That is, that's good. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. When this ship fires her AA guns, 25% chance... Actually, I'll just skip down, because the if she equips Eagle Union gear, she gets this... Uh, the anti-air mode, the AA is doubled, but the firepower decrease does not apply. So her firepower will never lower, but her AA basically goes up to 80%, which is incredible. Now, every 20 seconds... 25% chance. 25% is unreliable. To increase this ship's damage dealt by 25%. Now, if it's 25%, I'm going to act like it's not going to happen. Because uh, odds are it probably won't. <laughs> so, Montpellier is the best tank out of all the Clevelands. She's, um, her skill... Like, this augment actually makes Birmingham completely irrelevant because this, uh, her skill 
It's just, her Birmingham's skill is to be tanky. And Montpellier just completely outdoes her at that. But Biloxi does slightly more damage because of the firepower buff she gets. So the firepower buff she gets from Independence, when added with her uh, skill here, is 23% total. And that will up her firepower to 200. Which, keep in mind, the only light cruiser that can even exceed that is Plymouth. And she's a UR. So, Biloxi, I use her tactically. It was a tactical, intentional decision for this fleet. Because if the front line gets injured, I want Stefan Potter to stay alive the most. And if whatever Cleveland I have in this slot gets sunk, um, the skill that Independence has, the boost she gets, it doesn't go away. So, um, out of all... The Clevelands. Biloxi to me is the best team player unless your whole front line is light cruisers. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say is whole Cleveland analysis. Biloxi is my favorite ship, but she does have the most team player skill here. That's all. Old Games Investigator signing out. If you like my content, please like the video and subscribe. I wish you all the best. Happy Friday.